Stefan here. Welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about keep going with this uh, series of how to clean, how to improve, how to get a better technique for your shots. We have forehand, we have kick serve, we have a one-handed backhand. Soon we're gonna do the two-handed backhand, but today we're gonna focus upon so many requests, okay? The backhand with a slice. And why it's so important that you have a really good slice, okay? You have to take out of your mind that the slice is just a shot that you hit because you know you can't reach the ball with a normal backhand and you just get the ball there, try to defend. The slice could be a really aggressive shot. I have a video talking on the slice, the cross court slice that you can hit, actually hitting aggressive on the ball. It could be a really good one if you have a good side spin with the ball bouncing to the outside. But even, okay, if you see players like Federer, like uh, Dominic Thiem, Djokovic, how many players are using now the slice as a resource to actually create damage on their opponents. So today I wanna show you, and it's very important for me, like I said, with all the shots, from going from less to more, okay? A strong base, really good technique. So I'm gonna give you five exercises that you can do to improve your technique, to understand a little more the footwork, not so much a footwork, I wanna focus more on the, where you hit the ball, okay, where you have to keep going with your arms after you hit, depending on where you're gonna go. So today I'm gonna show you a base uh, technique for, for the slides, and then I'm gonna show you a couple ones uh, hitting cross court and a couple ones hitting down the line, so you can see a little more the difference uh, in a slow motion where I get on the ball to hit it to different directions, all right? So five exercises, we're gonna go with the first one right now. So exercise number one, and I'm just gonna show you here from uh, facing your opponent, just the turning and how you get to the ball. So as we always say, from less to more, first exercise, we just get to talk to the grip. Okay, about the grip, important. I use the continental grip, same grip that you saw the serve. I just have it ready here for the slice. So you have the split step, okay? You see it coming. The first movement unit of turn, leg in front, very important that you always work, okay, low. You cannot hit in a slice with your legs uh, straight. So again, one, two, with the racket from up down there, okay, it's just like if you were grabbing something from the shelf, here, hit in front and follow. And the important thing about this one is this part. Okay, look at this. Here, hitting and opening. I'm gonna throw the ball so it doesn't bother me. Here and open your arms, okay? Open. Why is so important? Same thing that in the backhand, this opening is gonna give you the balance you need, okay? The smoothness you need on the shot to have a good balance and don't hit and fall, okay? Hitting and keeping the balance because you really need to open here more like a bird if you just wanna try to fly. So the first one is that one, okay? One, two, three, open. One, two, three, open, all right? And always worrying, keeping the arm up here and not taking it to the side or taking it down here, okay? Which is a common mistake. So that was the first one. Second one, you're gonna do the same thing, but you can see here that I put a cone, uh, a line of cones. There are a lot of people that work with this with uh, the boxes from the balls. Same thing. The idea is that when you get to hit, this is gonna allow you to control the racket, to follow a line and to don't drop. Okay, you see that if I drop, which is a common mistake of coming here and dropping, try, they, people try to do this, okay? And they drop the tip of the racket and you hit every single cone. So important, you get down, stay, keep the same line, hit in front and up, okay, with the racket. So again, one, two, control it, follow. One, two, control it, follow, okay? There's a couple of drills that I've seen many times that I, I've done it also, of course, where you have boxes behind you and you have to try to keep, don't turn too much because this would uh, bring a rotation where you're hitting and you don't want that. You just want to get here always sideways, keeping the line and opening, okay? So this is exercise number two. Remember, work very low here, keeping the control, do it in slow motion so you kind of you, you, you understand already the mechanic and how the, the follow through of the racket has to be. So let's go with the next one. All right, so exercise number three. And here what we're gonna work on is we're gonna isolate the part of the hitting. Okay, now we're not gonna commit into the legs, into the entire thing. 
because we saw that okay we already have the motion of that heating now we only gonna focus on this part of the heating where you get the ball in front you get you see you don't get with the racket like this you don't get with the racket flat you're gonna get with the racket like 45 degrees and keeping it forward okay so the only thing i'm gonna do is this and keeping it up all right always the heating and keeping it up that's what you need for number three i mean you, i didn't record the balls but they were all straight to my line between me and the line because what it helped me is to keep the control if that ball i wanted to go cross court instead of hitting it here i hit it more from the side but the hitting is the same it's 45 degrees keep going what changes is here or here but the idea again in this number three is the hitting and how you hit the ball keeping the 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 racket always over the level of your hips oh but you told me that i have to go low yes you go low with your legs okay you don't go with the racket you go with your legs but the racket is always here on the same line if you need to hit even lower then you will need to go more lower and hit i remember when i was training this my coach you always told me i was training in clay court if you are hitting a good slice your knee okay your left knee because i'm ready your left knee has to finish with clay court on your knee okay because if you are hitting it well you're really going down to the ball because of course he was feeding really low balls to force me why because he wanted me to understand that for the slice i needed to be always bending my knees so he was exaggerating that to force me to understand so then whenever i have the ball in the slice automatically i will bend my knees to go down all right so let's go with the next one So step number four, remember we talk about the line here of cones where you would hit the ball and keep. So in this one, you're not only gonna have to be low, you're also gonna have to go under the cone and keep the shot under the cone, all right? You can get up, you can create a line of how many you want here. Don't go too forward because in some moment you will have to lift, but starting from the beginning, you can put more, three, four, so you force yourself even if you want to make something longer i just want to there because i, I won't create this movement from under all right so again what you worry here is one two going low hitting the ball and then lifting all right hitting the ball and then lifting all right try to don't hit it this one is actually it's better if you have a rope or something that it doesn't go down like the cone all right one two stay low hit it and then keep but remember open okay open you actually can uh practice this all the time all right while you're waiting you're talking to somebody just keep in doing this so you get used to hitting there and opening all right the moment you impact once goes forward the other one opens i'm gonna put a picture here of a player that it's amazing how open he is at the moment he hits the slice you're gonna see uh, as a reference so you understand this better okay so four three remember here from under and lifting so let's go with the last one so exercise number five last one as always from less to more at the end we got to the full shot so here what you're gonna do toss the ball for yourself and hitting the ball okay creating the full shot now i'm gonna give you an extra an extra task here on this one instead of just hitting the ball and staying i want you to hit the ball and make one cross step okay forward hitting the ball one cross step forward why because it's gonna give you a little variation that sometimes you get here you hit and you fall and sometimes you're gonna hit this one going forward so you will need to cross and always run with your arm up here for the first two or three steps all right Right, so you saw there okay hitting then i'm gonna show you a stay because i'm gonna show you a couple of balls hitting okay somebody feeding the ball to me just so you can understand better you can see the entire movement okay i want you to have more um 
more actual heating to understand everything that we talk through the video. All right guys, so there were the five exercises, okay? Five simple drills. Probably with this one, the only thing you need more is the cone or something to, for the number uh, four, okay? To have the L to be able to go under. But for the other ones, almost no uh, material. Please guys, again, like I always say, give special attention to this. Get to practice this by yourself. It's gonna give you so much self-conscious. It's gonna teach you so much and you're gonna learn so many things. If you can record yourself doing this, you can send it to me, okay? Any of the drills of the clean the forehand, the kick serve, okay, the six drills for the kick serve, the slice, all for this series, you can record yourself doing these drills, you can send it to me and I will help you, okay? And I will tell you how you're doing it or I will give you any extra advice to keep improving it, okay? I'll be happy to do that. If you have any question, let me know here in the comments. Um, subscribe to the channel if you didn't please leave the give the like to the video okay help the video to get to more people share with your friends okay if you think it's valuable that was it for today guys thank you very much see you in the next one